Hey everyone, it's the Gadget Guru. Um, I just got back from a tournament, so this is going to be like a tournament overview kind of thing. Um, I played Gadgets, as you can probably guess, and I want to show you my deck list and show you some of the choices I picked and maybe why I picked them. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the traps. Uh, these were these are just the staples: Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, Royal Oppression, Mind Crush, and Trudgel Tribute. Um, all pretty common. These were th or this, I should say. I wish it was more than one, but this card was amazing. Um, the main plays that I saw it doing was it raped Machinas, and it devastated a Karakuri person I played because he played that stupid spell card that allows you to search your deck for any Karakuri card and I basically just said you know what F that <laughs> so I mind crushed whatever he searched it was some stupid broken spell card or something um, I played two widespreads for a little bit of additional anti-attack um, and the reason I play those is because I need to protect these guys my false and my banishers I need to protect them so I played two widespreads to kill attackers. I then played three dimensional prison to do the same thing, stop things from attacking my main guys and just get them off my field. Next I ran two bottomless, you know, staple, kill stuff, three dark bribe. Um, this is to negate stuff like solemn warning or really big cards that they try and play like skill drain or something. Um, this did okay it didn't always help me. Like I was kind of debating on what I should dark bribe, and I, I was I was kind of like, every time they played a card, I was like, oh, should I dark bribe it? Should I dark bribe it? Should I dark bribe it? So it kind of was like, it's it's good, but like I had I had to be really picky and choosy about what I dark bribed. But it helped me. It did help me. Three compulsory evacuation device. Like I said, this is one of the upcoming staples. It's amazing. This card, this card pissed so many people off today because like I just. I go compulsory on their face down monster and they go, what? <laughs> so, three compulsory evacuation device. And finally, to finish off the lineup, two Divine Wrath. Divine Wrath is amazing. There's a lot of stuff that happens in the battle step right now. Gravekeeper, Spy, Gores, Tragodia. There's so many things that happen in the battle phase right now. The Divine Wrath has become a must. It's good at two. I don't think I'd run three because three is pushing it a little bit in my opinion. Um, it does require to discard a card, so it's it's iffy for me, but it did help me out today, so I, I really like this card. I might try a third. We'll have to see. Next, moving on to the spells, we'll have, we have three shrinks, as I said, um, for Banisher and Fossil Dina. They attack, you know, I, enter Dan I activate Book of Moon, they, you know, Dark Bribe it or whatever, and then when I do enter Damage Step... I simply go, you know, shrink, and they're like, oh, crap, I wasted my response, so. Shrink is really good. It's really good, right? Like, I was catching people off guard with this all day long. Like, they just didn't know what to do. Like, when I played shrink, they looked at me and went, what? Like, especially, I played a um, uh, Gemini player today, and he kept Gemini sparking everything I did. So, so eventually, I just started shrinking him in battle, <laughs> and he hated it because he couldn't Gemini spark because he <laughs> it was in the damage step, so. One pot of avarice, recycle the gadgets, recycle monsters, draw two cards. I only ran one. Um, I think two is a little too much, but one did really well. Um, I didn't dead draw it much. I only do dead drew it like one game. Card that saved my arse all day long, summoning curse. Broken card. I've explained this card a hundred times over, but this card is honestly amazing. Um, two smashing ground. Um, if they have a monster that I can't power over, smash out of the way. Same theory with Fissure. If I can't get over it, get under it and drag it into the ground. Bye-bye. Um, one monster reborn, staple tech. Um, just, I, I was actually using that most, most of the day to take their monsters instead of mine. I was just like, you know what? I like your Stardust in your graveyard. I'm going to take it. Um, and then one Dark Hole. And obviously Dark Hole just says, F this, nuke everything. So, that was really nice. Um, I did not play Book of Moon today. Um, the reason I did not was, 
in testing, Book of Moon has become somewhat unreliable because a lot of the monsters these days have really high defense. Um, and putting them face down isn't that good of a thing. Um, so right now I'm not playing a Book of Moon. Uh, that probably will change though because there was a couple situations where I wish I had Book of Moon today. So I, I took it out to test it and I kind of regretted it. So it's probably going to go back in. Next for the monsters, you've got your two, two of each gadget. Um, as I said, I'm not playing three of each gadget because I'm running a much smaller deck, so this lineup worked pretty well. Like, I miss the three of each gadget because I hate, like, if you draw, like, this and this in the same beginning hand, then you're like, okay, well, I would summon for this and search this, but that means I'm out of greens. And it, like, it messes up your combos. Like, it's annoying. But at the same time, it's a necessary evil in a, when you have a small deck. You don't want nine gadgets, so. Six gadgets. Triple Banisher. Saved my ass all day. Banisher is broken right now. He just says, I remove all your crap from play. Get over it. I'm a 1600. Which, which might I add, gets under stall cards. Ha! Sorry, I love that. I ended up fighting a freaking Morphotronic player today, and they played that Morphotronic bind bull crap. It says all monsters with four or more stars cannot attack. And I was sitting there, and I was like, dude, I can't do anything. And I drew this guy, and I'm like, wait, he's a three star. Summoned him and started wrecking face. The dude had no response. It was so funny. So Banisher's amazing. And then lastly, Fossil Dino, like one of the most broken cards in the meta right now for anti-meta decks. Um, this card is way overpriced. Oh my god, dude. I, I had a kid come up to me and we want to buy these. And he's like, dude, can I buy those? Can I buy those? And I'm like, no, I really don't want to sell them. He's like, come on, dude. I'll pay you I'll pay you $50 each. I'm, and I know they're like, they're, they're something like that on eBay. And he's and I'm like, no, no. He's like, come on, dude. I'll give I'll give you $150 for the entire playset right now, right here. And I was like, dude, I'm not selling my fossil dinos. Because <laughs> they're part of my main deck. And he and like he got like really mad at me. Like he got pissed at me. He's like, "Come on, man! I'm offering you a good deal here." And then you know I, I proceeded to be a not so nice person about it and mentioned, it, "Well, if they're fifty dollars on eBay and you're only going to give me fifty dollars for them anyway, why the hell would I sell them to you? If you want to talk about a good deal, you should offer two hundred for the playset." And he's like, "Oh, well, I really don't want to pay that much for them." I'm like, "Okay, well then I'm not selling them." <laughs> so. I don't know. Fossil Dino is amazing. No extra. Well, I had an extra deck. Stardust. Just <laughs> I have it there just just to make people wonder. Like it's like okay, this is my extra deck. I put it on. I put it on the board. They're like, that's one monster. What could that one monster be? They like they, <laughs> people hate that card. They don't understand what it is. Um, and then we're gonna go into the side deck. I ran three totems or two totems. Sorry, two totems. Um fire statue because it just it's like it's like a fossil dino this saved me against um uh makana today because like i was playing him and i sided this in and i i summoned um fossil dino and he saw him warnings and i'm like okay so next turn i summon this and he's like what does that do i'm like the same thing he's like what the freak dude come on so he kept trying to attack over it and i always had responses so he got really mad it's a good card one Lava Golem, which might I say, ha 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 ha, I can still play Lava Golem. <laughs> I did that to a guy today. I was playing a Gravekeeper dude, and he started setting a bunch of monsters, and I special summon Lava Golem, and he's like, you can't. I'm like, it's fire. He's like, what? So, dude, that's a fun tech. Um, it's funny because you give it to them, and you're like, okay, you have a 3,000 beat stick monster. You're going to take a 1,000 per turn. You want to attack now? <laughs> and they hate it because they're like, yeah, I have to attack, so... Um, and people ask why I run one of this, like, in tech, uh, why I tech one of it. And I tech one Lava Golem because there's certain creatures I hate, such as Legendary Six Samurai Shien. And rather than waste all my spells and traps on you, I just sacrifice you and get you off the field. Um, also works really good against Gravekeepers, so they can't do setups on you. I used to do that to a Gravekeeper guy today. I played Lava Golem. I sacked both of the monsters off for Lava Golem. He's like, okay, so he goes, he takes a, he takes a grand. He attacks me with a lava golem. I compulsory the lava golem. And then he are, he has one monster still on the field, and he's like, oh, son of a... Because he realizes if he sets another monster, I just lava golem again. If he doesn't set a monster, then I'm keeping field advantage. So he's like, really? 
So he decided to set a monster to get the lava golem back. So I go, I draw, summon the lava golem again, and I end turn. So he goes, he takes a grant, <laughs> and he attacks, he attacks me again, a compulsory again. He's like, really? <laughs> so, compulsory plus this dude equals broken. Consecrated light, broken versus GK and like Blackwing. I didn't get to use her today, yet, or use it today, sadly. Kinetic soldier. I actually, um, during the tournament, I actually, what I did was I took out this for another one of these. So I was running three of these because I was like, I really didn't want to lose the samurai today because when I was walking around, I saw a bunch of samurai. So I'm like, you know what, forget it. So I put three, I was running three of these. Um, and ironically, I played two samurai, never drew a single one of them. Never. I was like, what the deuce? But I still beat the samurai, so. Okay, moving on. Two MST. Roar. I didn't even side them in today. Like, I had no point to play them. Two Twister. Didn't even side them in. No point to play them. Two, two Trap Pull. Monarchs hate this card. See that? See that right there? That's the face of a Monarch player. Oh, rage. I'm serious, dude. This makes Monarch players rage so hardcore. And lastly, the thing that makes Samurai's Rage Hardcore is Gozen Match. I did draw this. I did draw this card against Samurai's, and Samurai's hate. And they hate this card with a passion. Um, this card wrecked the two Samurai's I played. Like, I sided this and the Connect Soldiers in. And I was playing a guy, and he literally went uh, Kageki, Kagamusha. Um, yeah, he went Kegi. Uh, he already had um, a Kizan and a grandmaster and he and he drew the kagamusha so he goes kageki kagamusha and i go gozen <laughs> oh you should have seen the look on that dude's face it was priceless he was just like rage so that was awesome um so that's the deck i used today um as i said uh, i went four and one out of five rounds um the only deck i lost to ended up being a uh uh, Gemini deck, but I got third place, four and one. I got two packs, did it, or I got two packs more than what I entered. I got one pack for entering, and I got two more packs for getting third. I didn't pull anything spectacular, so I'm not going to go over the packs or anything, but I just wanted to give you guys a little tournament report video thing now that I got home. And I got home rather late, I should say. I don't know if you can see that. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> Yes, I'm awake at 3 a.m. Why? I have no bloody idea. But I am. And I'm going to go to bed now. But after I put this video up, of course. Because that's why I'm here. To put videos up for you. That's all my life is for. No, not really. 